Uh, so at Popups, our tagline is the voice of the people in the language of Congress, and that's because um, that's what we focus on. We come from a congressional background and uh, work on bringing actually the work that people are doing on the outside and getting a message into Congress. Uh, we're working with the $3.8 trillion that is spent every year for the 10,000 plus bills that are introduced in Congress and the billions of dollars that are spent by the American Association of Absolutely Anything to get the attention of Congress. Uh, right now, I don't know if you're familiar with the lobbying that occurs, but it's very focused, while the people who are weighing in on the bills that are happening frequently is unfocused, disparate, and sometimes ineffective. So inside the halls of Congress, these hallowed halls, this is what it looks like. You have 350 million plus messages coming in every year, staff declining, uh, and uh, absolutely overwhelmed. Congress is over capacity. All of the new technology that's uh, been invented to make it easier to get messages in actually makes it tougher for those messages to be understood. So, uh, our solution is to take all of those millions of messages and voices and, and the words that are trying to get into Congress and to focus them very specifically on the bills that are pending, on the things that Congress can actually do uh, and we do that by taking the official information, the bill information, uh, whenever a bill is introduced, it actually goes directly into Popbox. Organizations that are endorsing or opposing legislation weigh in to, to present their position. Individuals weigh in, they leave a comment, those comments are sent to Congress. And all of that is available in a bill report on the site that is essentially the, we're building the metadata for the bills that are pending before Congress. So, to so hop to the demo and show you what that looks like. This is our bills page. So this would be a collection of bills that are pending, bills that are interesting. Right now these are all focused on the environment because Earth Day was last week. You'll see a quick description there which we take directly from uh, the bill title. Uh, the recent activity, these are the most recent comments that have been left on the site. Um, so people have waited on these bills. And if you like the comments, you can share via Facebook or Twitter. And you can see over here the top bills of the week. So, for example, we saw a lot of activity on this Fair Tax Act. Uh, people who come to the site are then asked, do you support or oppose the bill? You can go down and see organizations that are endorsing the bill. Click to get more information on their position. These are the kinds of endorsement letters that are actually going into Congress helping them make a decision. Uh, no organizations have opposed this bill. You can get a widget if you'd like to uh, put an action button on your site. And you can click through to see reports of what others are saying. So you can actually see a list of uh, the organization, click through to their statements. You can see how support has built over time. You can see we had a few big days there, the 10th and the 11th on the Fair Tax Act. And see where the support is across the country. Drill down to the district level. And this is what's interesting to members of Congress who potentially are going to recruit co-sponsors. They would like to go say, hey, did you know a representative from Georgia's ninth that 100% of the 34 people who wait in from your district actually support this bill? And actually, if you click on it and you move down to the comments, you can even just see the comments from that district. And again, you can appreciate the comments, you can share them via Facebook and Twitter, and then uh, people who are seeing these comments might agree with them and go back and they on the bill. Uh, that is the, uh, the user-facing side. There are two other kinds of users besides individuals that find their way to the site. Uh, we also have legislative staff. So for someone working in Congress, which was my world for a while, uh, we've set up the site so that they can actually keep track of all the bills that are pending, all the bills that they have to to keep track of and see what people are saying within their district. Actually, it's not coming over right there. And then for organizations that, in, that populate the town, uh, the organizations that are weighing in on various bills, we have an organization directory so that if a congressional staffer is looking to find, say, all of the labor groups to reach out to them and find out their opinion on a bill, uh, you could actually click through and see contact information and the positions that these organizations have taken on various bills. They build their legislative agenda, they share their positions with their membership, they drive that membership to Popbox, people take action on Pop
Pop Box, they share their comments with a member of Congress, they tell all their friends, <coughs> all their friends come to Pop Box. It's a beautiful cycle. Uh, we hope we're improving democracy and uh, building a really interesting business that uh, is really happy to be working with this DC Tech.